So this machine is called um, the Milk Run. This machine is basically a um, the Syrians have decided to defend this MSR here um, at a choke point, which is this bridge, um, Objective Dora. Um, I'm up against elements of a, a Syrian regular battalion supported by elements of the 5th Airborne Battalion um, with uh, mechanized forces and armor forces and support. I'm tasked with um, elements of the 26 MEU. Um, I'll have Echo Company. Um, I'll have Recon Platoon, which I have on the map now. And I'll have two platoons from Fox Company. And also a platoon of armor to conduct my attack. There's going to be a deliberate seize and hold. I'm going to deliberately attack the enemy, seize and hold these objectives. My primary objective is to secure the bridge along the main MSR here in order for the attack to continue. Just investigating enemy likely headquarters, enemy likely observation posts, um, investigating the terrain. As you can see here, the terrain in this mission is extremely advantageous to the defender. There's reverse slope uh, positions, there are trench networks. Um, there's a ravine here that offers great flanking shots on my forces. Um, the enemy has is supported with ATGMs, which I have been told in the briefing. Um, I also do get two Harriers as air support at some point in the mission, but I've been told not to rely on them because they may not turn up. Um, my artillery assets are limited. The supply situation is not ideal. And we've just moved this AO from the previous AO. Um, so my forces haven't had time to fully resupply and replenish. So what I'm going to do here is I suspect this might be where enemy headquarters and Ford Observer might be located. So I'm going to launch a decapitation strike on this building Over. with my preparatory bombardment. So the first phase of my operation is going to be getting my recon elements into observation posts and also try and identify as many enemy ATGM uh, um, static T-62s and you know defensive positions. My main body, the elements of my main body are going to be arriving in about 40 to 50 minutes. Um, I do end up skipping, like editing out a bit of inaction, um, about 10 minutes or so, of where nothing really happens. For now, I'm just um, setting up my recon elements to do their initial probing to determine the enemy's disposition. So as you can see, um, the terrain here is, is it doesn't offer great cover. There's these little berms that do offer some protection, but in order to reach my objectives, I'm not only going to have to cross open ground, but I'm going to have to cr uh, skyline and come down a ravine. So my phase one of the operation is to get my recon elements into observation posts. And then phase two um, will be to set up supporting bases of fire on the high hill there on the left flank that overlooks Objective Dora and overlooks the far side of the ravine. I'll also set up another supporting base of fire um, on the right of the bridge just up past those forests up the middle because there's an area up there that can look directly down into the bottom of the ravine and, and support my troops from there. Then my main body will attack up the right flank and they will be a company sized unit and each platoon will sort of move in bounding overwatch and support the other. My armor 
which arrives first, will sort of shoot Scoot, use his frontal arc, frontal armor facing the enemy positions, and try and lure out as many ATGMs and destroy them as possible. Once I believe the ATGM threat has been neutralized, my tanks will actually advance online with my infantry to provide more support. I'm not too worried about RPG shots against the frontal armor of the M1A ones that I have, and I'm going to need their fire support. I have a com uh, combined anti armor team of Humvees. They're pretty much useless in this mission, especially with an ATGM threat. They're just too vulnerable. Um, so they will stay in the rear and be a reserve. Scenario designer probably shouldn't really have included them in this mission. You pretty much get a full full company plus in this mission. So there's a lot of units to try and uh, to try and use and coordinate. This mission was quite difficult for two reasons. Three reasons actually. The the first reason is. Um, Again, I'm recording this, so I don't want to pause too often. And to have planned this mission meticulously would have required a lot of pausing. Um, and the enemy had a seemingly unlimited supply of artillery. It was you know, battalion fire missions coming down upon my troops constantly. All over the map as well. So in order to keep up the momentum, of recording, I couldn't pause a lot and I couldn't effectively get my troops out of the way of the constant enemy fire missions. So probably the vast majority of my casualties, well I'm talking 90% were from enemy artillery bombardments which never stopped. Once they started they never stopped. Um, the second thing that made this mission a little bit difficult was the lack of artillery support due to the supply situation. I just sort of go light on my artillery. And I tried to call some, down a smoke mission down at the end but I didn't have enough rounds to do it. So as you can see we've spotted some um, BTR contacts, enemy recon elements. There's a great observation post up there on that right flank on the hill that dominates this AO. I'm moving my sniper team up there, but there's also a BTR. So I'm going to have to find a way of dealing with that BTR. Just checking the status of my decapitation bombardment. I just heard something there. End of mission. Out. I'm thinking about calling a fire mission down on this BPR, uh, BTR. And there's a recoilless rifle, SPG recoilless rifle firing at my LAV. When I was doing this mission, I made an error in my calculations. I calculated the enemy would probably have four ATGM sections um, because my encounters with ATGM sections so far had been against Syrian airborne troops, which generally have I think four, but the regular infantry AT teams actually have six. So I ended up moving my tanks out aggressively when I thought I'd dealt with most of the ATGM threat when I hadn't and uh, they drew a lot of fire. Check fire, check fire, check fire. So I'm just going to call a fire mission down on this SPG. It's not a huge threat but it is a bit of a threat to my LAV.
Southwest Fire Mission, over. We spotted a static T62 tank that is keyholed and looking at the avenue of approach of one of my um, recon elements. in the uh, one of the mods that I use this is the radio chatter mod where uh, some Syrian vehicles actually have the American radio chatter coming through them Mord if you end up watching these AARs take notes Back to my plan. Um, in the end, my main my main effort only started arriving with about one hour and ten minutes to go, which means that in this mission I didn't really focus on taking the objectives. I actually sort of focused more on destroying as much of the enemy as I could, trying to force them to surrender, and that's kind of what happened. I, I pretty much just flat out refused to even worry about taking the objectives in this Over. mission. Out. Because I just would have sacrificed far too many men. Um, it's based on the terrain and the stupid amounts of artillery that Syrian have. It just would have been a slaughter if I um, rushed through it. My battalion commander, i.e. the scenario designer, gave me probably far too much time to recon and not enough time to actually do the attack. So, I don't want to focus on getting the objectives, I wanted to focus on finding and destroying as many Syrian units as possible and trying to force the Syrians to defend, which is why I wanted to do a decapitation strike as well, try and take out their leadership. The only objective I was really focused on was um, the objective, which is the one down in the right flank at the bottom of the ravine. wasn't even going to attempt to try and attack Objective Plan Boots, over. which is the Plan enemy headquarters. I just was taking needless ca casualties, trying to rush over. up the hill, trying to do that. So what I'm doing here with my LAV is I want to take out that BTR, so I'm sure to sort of trying to use the trees and terrain as cover here. Roger, fire perfect. I found this mission to be a very tough fight as well. I was actually pretty worn out when I finished it. I had one platoon that ended up just badly mauled. My um, my tanks got quite badly beaten up. Well, a couple of them did. And just the, the constant, constant enemy artillery bombardments just really took a toll on my forces. I think this mission is designed to kick your ass. There's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of lucky though, um, my main my main effort, Eco Company, came out relatively unscathed, which is good for follow-on missions, because in, in a campaign 